Okay, we're gonna go and work on something called the pencil. Um, let's look at this just a second. It says inventor pencil tutorial. And here's the steps. I've got them all listed out here. We're gonna click on the XY plane just like we always do. Uh, I got a few things here we're gonna dimension. We're gonna round the pencil's edge. You know, we're gonna uh, round off this end here. Uh, the final the final object is going to look similar to this, so you'll see how we've got one end pointed and one end that's rounded. So we're going to see if we can go through this in one go here. All right, um, create a new inventor part, standard.apt, change the unit of measurement um, to millimeters. You see how that says tools tab, document settings, um, select the units and the, click on the length drop down menu and uh, change it to millimeters and then apply and then we're going to start a 2d sketch and select xy plane so here we go um, let's go back to inventor so i'm going to open that up real quick uh, so go back to your desktop double click on the orange eye icon let that load and answer your cell phone call while it's being okay uh, now click on new standard.ipt and then we're going to go back to our sheet to see what our first step was one more time to remind ourselves of what it's supposed to be. I believe it says, if you look at your sheet, it says create a new inventor part standard.ipt, change the unit of measurement by using the tools tab, document settings, and select units. So here we go. So I know I'm talking fast. So uh, tools tab, document settings, uh, units, and we'll change it to millimeters just like we did last time. And click apply. So we're going to move this out of the way. And here we go. Uh, so we've applied that. And um, go back to 3 model, or 3D model, start 2D sketch, click your XY plane. Um, now it says right here, I want you to look real close. Um, choose the circle tool and click at the origin release the mouse and move it up and click the mouse again to lock the circle in place so we're going to click the mouse basically twice so we're going to start at the origin get our circle tool start at the origin click and click so we've locked the, the circle in place so you have a green circle centered around the origin there Okay. All right, dimension the circle. This is the easy part. You just go over to the ribbon and click dimension. Then you'll uh, highlight the circle. It is now blue. It says, I have a 27.59 da 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 circle. I don't want that. I want, um, according to the sheet, it says right here, dimension the circle to 10 millimeters and then click finish sketch. All right, so we're going to type in the number 10 and click the screen check mark and then click this green check mark up here in the right hand corner for finished sketch then we're going to extrude it says so we're going to look real close at here it says extrude the ex sketch 100 millimeters that's the depth okay so we're going to extrude the uh, circle 100 millimeters it's going to be really long that's what makes the pencil length okay so there's our pencil pencil length you can see that okay over here in the browser section I've got the uh, the sketch if I highlight click down on that and highlight the sketch there it shows me that the sketch was a circle and then the extrusion was the long tube that comes out now we're not through yet we still got to round one end and point the other end so um, let's look at our sheet real quick it says note if your part disappears from the graphics window click on the home button to bring it back to view or click the front view click front on the view cube. So uh, if your part disappears in the graphics window, click on the home button to bring it back into view. So that, that centers it back to where it is now. So it should look very similar to where this is. Now we're going to round the pencil edge. So we're going to use the fillet tool again. And we're going to be sure to click the 3D model tab that's up here. Uh, you see that little white area right in there? That's 3D model. You can't really read it. It's so small and then choose the fillet tool which is this little light blue section right in here click on the front outside edge of the circle as shown that's going to be the front outside edge of the circle and then you're going to enter a radius of five Okay. All right. 
now let's go back to our inventor and see if we can actually successfully get through this so we got clip 3d model then clip fill it now I'm going to have to if you'll notice I cannot see the end of it very well so I'm um, if you have that problem you can always scroll the mouse out like this and you can highlight the circle right there so we're going to make sure this is choose the fillet tool click on the front outside edge of the circle as shown and then we're going to enter a radius of five so right now we've got a radius of two millimeters so we're going to enter five and then click uh, the green check mark there all right so now we've got a round end there just like the picture is here it's highlighted blue just because I clicked it in. Okay, so now we're done with that. Let's flip the page and go to the next part. Um, now we're going to bevel the other edge. Okay, bevel the other edge of the pencil to create the lead. So this is called the chamfer tool. This is a new thing. Chamfer is a new word that you have not been told yet. Alright, so let's go to choose the chamfer button. Uh, if you'll notice, it's the second button here. It says choose the distance and angle button, the second button here. Um, my bad. We're going to click chamfer then the second, which is the distance and angle. I messed, messed that up, so let's see if I can go back and find the chamfer button. All right, so chamfer is kind of like a slash. It's like a, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a, like a piece of cheese that somebody just sliced right through the corner of it, and it makes a, you know, a slice instead of a rounded end. So uh, when you pull, click on chamfer, make sure that that uh, down arrow is pulled down, that little black arrow there. Now it said to click on the second one of this. This is distance, distance and angle, and then two distances. So I want the second one, distance and angle. And then I'm going to click on the other outside edge of the pencil twice. So let's, let's see if we can handle this. So that means the other outside edge over here twice. So what I'm going to do is I always click the corners as I go around so I can see the other end so this is the other end I'm going to click the other end of this twice alright now uh, just showing you where I'm at here so I did the chamfer button which is kind of like a slash and then a distance and angle button which is the second button and then I click the other outside edge of the pencil twice now I'm there let's see I enter a five millimeters for the distance and 45 degrees for the angle all right, so let's enter 45, what does it say? Five millimeters for the distance and 45 degrees for the angle. The angle's already 45. I'm just gonna show you how to enter a 45 there. All right, and now, and then I click okay. Oh, let me, um, one last thing I need to show you before that I get into that. Um, if you'll notice, I was clicking over here to the right. One thing I forgot to do was click face here, make sure face was clicked. Um, and I've got the distance here in this box in 45 degree angle there. I was supposed to click this twice and now you'll notice that I've got a green check mark showing up. A minute ago the green check mark wasn't showing up because I didn't click in the right area, you know, over here where it said face. Alright, so click check mark and if you'll notice, highlighted in blue now, I've got this pencil lid looking thing. So that's the chamfer. It looks like, a, like somebody took a piece of cheese and sliced it right down the middle so um, okay so let's click home to make sure we're, we're back to where we need to be one round in one pointed in we're getting close all that's left is the color and the texture on the pencil so we're gonna we're gonna go back up to the uh, quick access toolbar that's up here this double arrow thing is what I always click on and I don't really spend too much time uh, looking at this but you can make this as pretty as you want you know if you want to make it beautiful you can make it beautiful I'm just trying to get it completed and so we're going to use it says right here texture and color we're going to use the quick access toolbar use the yellow pine for the material of the pencil so that's that yellow that uh two part right there we're going to make that yellow and then select the body of the pencil and use uh, choose yellow as the color uh yellow pine I'm sorry is the um, it's going to make it like a wood grain <laughs> and then select the eraser part and choose pink or red as the color so we're going to choose pink or red for that and then I'm going to print it off I'm going to save it. okay the last part is making it uh, the material yellow pine so I'm just going to click on all this and make it all blue highlight highlight it all blue so I'm going to hold down control control 
control and then you go over here and you just go to the material and you can click on the color wheel next to the material and then you'll notice it says it has a search button here so I'm going to type in yellow pine and hit enter and then down here there's a little button that says yellow pine and it says add appearance to document so I'm going to click the up button there so now if you'll notice it's highlighted blue and it's yellow pine all the way across like you cut the piece of wood out so now I'm going to click the circle part of the, the tube part of it and I'm going to click over here and a different place it says yellow so I click down the down drop down arrow and you click yellow and then over here I'm going to click a drop down arrow and I'm just going to pick something like pink or purple so I just pick violet and uh, your pencil is going to look very similar to my pencil probably so guess what print that off and and put it on page 28 in your engineering notebook for my class for anybody else you can put it wherever you want but file print and print okay and here's the print off so you've got the yellow pine down here and you got the yellow color for the tube and you've got a purple or pink eraser right there